Hi, uh, this is Gabor Sabo again. I hope that this is going to be a short video, uh, I plan it so. Uh, this is only for uh, showing how Meta CPAN is working today, which is a bit, it be became pretty awesome. So this is the URL where you can visit it, or I switch to that tab and you can see that once I visited it, it automatically jumps to HTTPS. Now this is just a search engine for the awesome uh, CPAN where all the Perl stuff uh, can be found that's interesting. So for example, if I want to search for something, for example for template, uh, it already gives me uh, some suggestions here and then I can pick one of them. And uh, it immediately jumps to one of the solutions, one of the recommended uh, modules. What you can see here is the documentation of the module. But what's more imp interesting is this icon. That this icon says that actually you can plus one uh, each module separately. And this specific icon says that already two people have uh, plused it. Uh, so approved it, whatever that means. And uh, it's nice because it's already started a couple of days ago and there are already two people here. So how can I click on this one? If I click on it, it says, tells me that I have to sign up. So how do I do that? Here I can see that I can sign up with any of these accounts. So people who don't have a POSE account can sign up with Facebook or GitHub or Twitter. And probably by the time you're watching at this uh, video, you will see other uh, networks there. So let's uh, try this pose because I'm an author there. And I type here uh, my handle uh, at pose. And then when I said I did this, it tells me that it sent me an email to my pose account to verify that it indeed me. So I go to this uh, account and uh, uh, here this is my email account. And here I see that there is a link um, in there, so I'll, I'll copy paste this one here just to be in the, within the tabs. And once I did this, it already fetched all the data from my uh, uh, author's JSON file. Now, if, it, if you don't have an author's JSON file, then all these fields are going to be empty, and then you can fill out all the uh, details like your name and uh, the ASCII name or whatever that uh, you want to show up, and then your email and all these. Uh, details. Uh, it already fetched my my picture, my avatar uh, from the Graftar website, and uh, then you can add various accounts here, so you can connect uh, to your accounts, and then you can actually check whether you t what you typed in uh, actually maps to the right place. So once I configure this, uh, I can come here and also connect to various. Uh, identities now I already uh, have been uh, logged in and already connected to each one of these uh, accounts obviously pose was connected by the sign up but I went there and added uh, these accounts so now if I come back here um, to the template and I reload this page uh, then it tells me that I could actually plus one this one uh, I can't anymore because I already did it earlier. So if I click here, then it will remove that plus one, but I like that template toolkit. So I add that one and then I can search for something else. And uh, let's say mechanize, and then I can find here all these modules. And for example, there is a WW mechanize, which I like and I use it quite a lot. So I want to add plus one there too. And you saw that Earlier it didn't have a plus one, now it has one. So I hope that you can come by and uh, join us uh, telling which module is better, which module should be uh, used and uh, which should be neglected. So thank you for watching and uh, probably this is the tab where I can see again uh, my host uh, name my, and uh, metacp.org. Thank you, bye bye.